What's up guys and welcome back to another episode of Shark Bites. That's right, we're back again for season four of Shark Bites and I'm absolutely buzzing to start making some more videos for you guys. Sorry I've been away for a little bit. January was completely hectic for me. I was busy submitting that Nershark paper that I've been working on for the last six months. Finally got it submitted and I promise I will be able to talk to you about it very, very soon. Also, just a quick milestone shout out. During the off season, we finally reached 10,000 subscribers, which is just insane. And I can't thank you all enough for your continued support of the channel. And if you haven't subscribed yet, it's super easy to do. Just click that button right there. On to today's video now, and I have got a real goodie for you. Although yes, I'm sorry, I definitely clickbaited the title. My bad. So a few weeks ago, this photo started doing the rounds on social media, namely from a chap called Andy Cassegrand, who is an underwater photographer. He's pretty notorious for occasionally spreading misinformation about sharks to a fairly large audience of people across his social media channels. Anyway, he tweeted the picture with the following text saying, want to see a truly massive, for some reason in quotation marks, great white shark bite. Now can any of the shark experts, again with the quotation marks there, out there tell me who, what, where, when, why, how? Not really sure what was going on with the quotation marks there, Andy, but I'll let it slide. So he took the picture 11 years ago at Guadalupe Island in Mexico, which is a pretty good stronghold for great white sharks. And he said the shark was pushing 17 feet in length. Now, after he tweeted this, everything went a little bit wild and people started saying that they believed the culprit for the bite was Megalodon. <laughs> I kind of feel like Andy might have been insinuating this from the tweet, but he doesn't explicitly say it. So let's take a look at the picture again. If this shark is approximately 17 feet long, then looking at that scar, you'd say the diameter of it is probably what? Six feet wide, maybe? The Meg's bite diameter was calculated somewhere to be between nine to 10 feet wide. So a little bit larger than that scar, but not too far off. Could it have been a Megalodon then? <laughs> nope. <laughs> yeah, sorry guys. Shark scientist Chris is here to spoil the day. <laughs> Megalodon is well and truly extinct and has been for millions and millions of years. So no, it wasn't a Megalodon bite. But that begs the question, what did cause this scarring on such a large shark? Well, I'm gonna come at this from two different angles and personally, I believe it's quite difficult to tell for sure which one it truly is. The first one is that it was caused by a bite from another shark, albeit not a Megalodon. Sharks can be pretty feisty with each other and will often bite other sharks in acts of aggression, for example, territorial bites. Sharks will also often eat other sharks, particularly if they're smaller in size than them. Now, the first line of thinking here is that when this shark was younger and a little bit smaller, it got a pretty nasty bite from a larger great white shark. As the shark got older and grew in size, those scars healed, but over time, they also might have stretched out and distorted a little bit. This therefore makes those scars appear a little bit larger than they actually were when that first bite took place if that makes sense. Now, the second line of thinking, and I think this is the one that I'm leaning most towards, is that these scars were caused by a boat propeller. Based on the positioning of the scars along the side of the body, this could have easily been a propeller gouge. You'll notice there's scarring towards the base of the dorsal fin there, which is obviously the part of the shark that's gonna be closer to the surface of the water and therefore closer to a boat propeller. During that boat strike, the shark could have slightly flipped on its side and that's caused the second line of scarring further down the body. In reality, it's pretty difficult to tell which one of these causes was responsible for that scarring. It could easily have been either one of them. What it definitely isn't though is a megalodon bite. <laughs> I think what it does show you is how capable sharks are at healing themselves from some pretty traumatic wounds. This regenerative healing ability literally comes from their genes and scientists in the past have found several genes directly tied to wound healing in sharks. One in particular that is vital for blood clotting and that helps them heal themselves really fast. So there you have it guys, a pretty gnarly scar on a pretty badass shark. What do you think caused this bite? Was it another great white shark, a boat propeller? I wanna hear all your thoughts in the comments below and I swear, if any of you say it was a Megalodon, I'm gonna lose it. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the Sharp Bites channel below where you can stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Until then, see you next time.